So how do I get these people to come here? Stop talking. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Timucua. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, you don't have to clap for me. Come on. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. This is an unusual thing, a Wednesday night event for us, you know, but we, you know, Pear wanted to play, so I said, of course. I'm not going to say no to that. Now, we have a, a few first timers here, I see. Yeah, who's here for the first time? Yeah. Perfect. So this is our living room. Hélène has gone to sing. She sings in like 17 different choirs now. So she's gone for the evening. But my wife and I, we live here with my oldest son right now and sometimes more kids who come back <laughs> to the nest. Anyways, so uh, you need to know that we have three bathrooms. You need to know that the emergency exit is over there and there's another one over there in emergency only. Also, you need to know to not be the person who forgot to silence your cell phone, okay? And kill your flash, please. You don't need a flash, right? The light is pretty good. Yeah, I invest quite a bit of time and money and lighting and it works. It's good, you don't need a flash. Okay, so also you need to know, oh, I'm gonna forget some things. Uh, you need to know to bring back your wine glass before you leave the premises in the kitchen, please, so I don't have to go hunting for glasses. I'm against hunting of all forms. So I, that's it, I'm a pacifist, okay? And your, and your kitchen trash goes in the bins, in the lobby, please, not in the bathroom trash. That's one less thing for me to do. I'm the, con I'm the, the jan we call it concierge in French. I'm the, ja I'm the janitor here, so you know, bless you. And so uh, the least I have to do, the better, you know? I'm the also the plumber and I hate plumbing. By talking about plumbing, just make sure you hold that handle for a little bit before you let go of the flushing handle because those toilets are a nightmare. <laughs> They're soon to go, but that's anyways. Um, okay, so I, I have to tell you about um, my good friend, Patrick Tafoya, who this morning was in Charlotte. So like, I guess two days ago, I asked him, hey, would you like to paint? And he says, oh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm Charlotte, I can't, I can't, I'm out of town, I can't do it. And so today I get a text, it's like, hey, I'm gonna go to the uh, airport and get, put myself on standby, I'm gonna go early and in the hope of catching it. So I'll, I'll keep you up to date. And so I said, oh, sure, great, you know? And uh, it turns out that he was able to come and he got here or on, in time, but like he rushed all day, he must be tired. <laughs> but anyways, he's been, uh, if you've been to the bathroom in the f on the first floor, you've seen Miles, right? The drawing of Miles with the dots, that's Patrick's work. Uh, you have another copy of that in the other room, so he, that's, he can sell to you. And all of these are for sale, and if you're interested in prices, just talk to him. It's very simple, right? Not complicated. Uh, he's a great friend. And he has a new project going on called the Orlando Artist League up in Longwood. So for those people who come from up north, figure of speech up north, not very far up north, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from up north. But uh, <laughs> but Longwood, you know, uh, he's got like really cool things happening. Community center for artists, uh, studio, gallery, workshops, open drawings, uh, sessions with a live model, all kinds of stuff. So you want to grab one of these cards before you leave. And if you're not on our email list, just sign up. Who, we have members here. Who's a member? Oh, look at that. Wow. So members get in. 
uh, before everyone else, right? They get to choose their seat, that's a one perk. Uh, they have access to a special place on the website that's only accessible to members. They get half off on ticketed events. There's, we're working on new perks too, like uh, more businesses are gonna be participating in the re giving rebates to, uh, rebates to our members and um, other stuff. And then there's you know the $120 membership, there's $250, whoops, more perks. There's more, like you get an ad for 520 bucks a year, which is another perk, and then it goes on and on. And so if you wanna help, we have a nonprofit, and we need your help, and it's going amazingly well this year. We've raised more money than ever before, but we still have $70,000 to raise before the end of the year, so if you know any rich people, <laughs> send them to me, right? And then I'll be happy to charm the pants off them. <laughs> I'll do my best. And so, um, no, no, but seriously, so, uh, but we, we, it's going very well, and, and you also need to know that the, the, ca the calendar, like the, the scheduling next year is awesome. The season is 92 events, and the most we've ever had, and there's not a dud in the bunch. Like, they're all great. Emmett Cohen is coming back. There's like, it's amazing. It's great. So, um, I think I'm done. Patrick, you ready to go? All right, take your stations. Station, singular. Uh, what else do I have to say? I, I guess that's it, right? Uh, Sunday, we have new music for piano by local composers. So it's a uh, CF2 event, uh, Central Florida Composers Forum. Um, Rose Grace is performing and Will Daniel, so two great pianists. Um, and so you don't wanna miss that. And it's another self-determined ticket price event. And so you can pay whatever you want to get in. Um, you ready for some music? All righty, so please help me give a warm and powerful, thunderous welcome to Pear Danielson and the quartet.
Hi, that's Jeremy Catalanic on the drums. And Chuck Archer on the bass. And Bobby Coble on the guitar. And Patrick Tafoya on the painting, on the brush. Well, thank you for being here. It's, it's nice to see all these students. I kind of threatened them. They had to come. They had to at least come here and check out the house. You know, that was the main thing. And then I got to play some music for you, too. So anyway, that uh, was the original composition. So what we're going to do tonight, this is all original music tonight. And Bobby got a little mad at me early in the rehearsal. Because <laughs> I have a couple of tunes that... that yeah, uh, yeah, you know. I, I, I want our relationship to be out in the open, you know. <laughs> so he said, couldn't you have sent me the tunes a little earlier? I said, well, they weren't written earlier. So <laughs> I couldn't do that. So, so this is kind of what I'm going to do tonight is there's a lot of new material. A couple of tunes I kind of reworked that I've done before. But what we're going to do is when I write a tune and I have musicians like this and I give them the music, Usually, they sound so much better than I could even envision. So, so we're just going to kind of keep it loose. We, we have a, a, a pretty general you know, idea what we're going to do. <laughs> and so <laughs> now we have a, another general idea of this Oriki silence, which is, um, well, I don't need to explain it. We play it. <laughs> um, <laughs> It's gonna feature. It's gonna feature guitar solo first. Uh, all solo guitar. Is that Norwegian? No, it, it is. It's Ekerö backwards, and that's the town where I'm from. See, so now you got the story about the tune. I haven't even told these guys what it's about.
Is any of um, Chris, you got your guitar with you? Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I guess we, the, well, the first one was kind of in major. We got to do another minor too, not like minor. You know, coming from Sweden, it's dark and depressing, you know. So. <laughs> it's going to carry on that tradition here in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. All right, this is called View of Heaven, and um, this is a place where we spend the, the part of the summers is up at Whidbey Island in Washington, so, and it's absolutely beautiful up there. So this is called View of Heaven.
this is so much fun because it's the first time we played play these tunes. And these guys make it sound so good. That's <laughs> awesome. It's awesome. And Patrick is painting a picture of Jimi Hendrix. All right, so we're gonna play a tune, it's called, oh, this is a great segue. Pacific Energy, also written up in the Northwest. And by the way, uh, Jimi Hendrix is from Seattle. See, see how I tie that in? Perfect.
about Jeremy Catalanic on the drums? That's awesome. All right, let me see here. Oh, we're doing fine on time. We got, we got hours to go. Okay, we got to do a tune, and I play this, and I asked the audience to come up with a name because I couldn't figure out the name myself, and nobody came up with a name that I liked. And so I'm going to keep it, I'm not going to have a title, so you can make up whatever title you want that fits the occasion. And we're going to do the same. So I can kinda, it's a good tune to throw in there, because I'm going dedicate to dedicate it to anybody, and I just make up a title, and it works. So, so today, it's, uh, it, it, the, I named it Bobby Got Mad At Me. Ah, <laughs> uh, he didn't really get mad at me.
Okay, so if you came up with any good names, let me know. If not, I just leave it nameless. All right, here's another one that was written the other day called Special Occasion. Thank you. 
Thank you. All right, we got to, I think we have two more tunes. What are we going to do? Then we run out of tunes. Then we're done. <laughs> That's right, yeah. After the second tune, stop clapping.
All right, one more tune. Thank you so much for being here tonight and letting us experiment with our new music in front of you guys. Thank you. This tune is actually a few years old. Actually, it's probably, Chuck, that must have been about eight years or something like that, six, six eight years ago. I wrote this, but it was actually a, a gig that Chuck put together at Rollins, and it was me and our dear friend that passed away a couple of years ago, Keith Wilson, and Chris Rothmeyer, and myself. So there was two keyboard players on it. Wish we could have done more of that, but now he moved. He needs to come back. Yeah. Uh, so this is called My Wish. Again, thank you so much, and thank you to Benoit and the White House and Timucua Arts Foundation. Please consider this organization uh, part of your uh, donation endeavors if you have extra money to spare. So, and um, Patrick, how about Patrick painting over there? This is wonderful. <laughs> and this is uh, a lot of these paint. I, I guess almost all of the paintings are yours.
Jeremy Catalanic on the drums, Chuck Archer on the bass, Bobby Koval on the guitar. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.